Hello everybody, Diane here. This is the junk journal, as you may recall. And a couple little notes from the last video. I said, oh, I'm halfway through. No, there's three signatures. I didn't realize that or remember that. So I won't be halfway through till I get to like here. Okay. <laughs> and then I did this page just because I came across this it actually is a tissue, but it's more like a napkin consistency that I totally forgot I had. And I know it's off season now, but I just thought those were cute. So there's paint back there and paper and rubber stamping. Okay. So instead of going here, we're going to here. Does anybody remember this? I showed this in a previous junk journal video. This is the negative portion, if you will, of a sticker sheet. I put here and then a strip of it over here and I had asked in a video what should I do in the uh, spaces and I will thank the few people that gave me answers that was nice of you and Christina at Christina's shack mentioned doing little collages in them and I had thought of that just because of the size an inchy or a rinchy which is a round inchy I thought would fit in there pretty darn good I didn't actually measure it. Yeah, it's like an inch and an eighth. So that would be pretty perfect, really. So I think that's what we're going to do. And if you were smart, since this is all, you know, together, you don't have to make it cohesive at all. It's a junk journal. You can do whatever you want. But I thought, well, try to make them a little cohesive. So my idea was to um, have more light magazine background and then put some sort of focal thing on it which I don't know what that would be yet because I have had trouble finding magazine images that weren't you know too big <laughs> so I'm not sure about that and if you were real smart you'd make it a master board and then just cut it down and it would still be sort of co sort of cohesive in that well this only proves I'm not real smart because I didn't think to do that before I cut these <laughs> so Right now, I am just looking for like little kind of text things, uh, neutral maybe kind of stuff, because we've been around this block before too. Um, if you have a really busy background on anything, really any size thing, it's really hard then to have a focal image without you can knock it down of course you can maybe put a solid color under your image or fabric I mean there's ways around it but I thought if I was smart <laughs> and we now know the answer to that if I just start with more neutral stuff maybe that would be okay I imagine I might Still have to knock it down a little bit I don't know I'll cross that bridge when I come to it so I'm just cutting some neutral stuff as you can see and then I will glue that down by myself that's probably going to be a little annoying <laughs> um, I'm I intend to put more than just one thing on it to make it look more interesting and hopefully not more busy. We'll see. I do have a lot of scrapbook paper images I can use as focal images, but for some, I don't know what reason. I just really didn't want to do that. I wanted to use more magazines, but I don't know. Like I said, I had had trouble finding magazine images. I should put this in my glue book on the food page, shouldn't I? Does anybody remember the tiny little chicken I cut out, I found in some video, and I said, oh, I should put that in my glue book. I'm probably going to lose it. Yeah, I lost it. I don't know what ever happened to that. 
I will say it's been a while since I took everything off and really cleaned, which I probably shouldn't admit that. But uh, it could still be there somewhere. green color. All right, what about these? And then, I don't know if that's enough. I think I'll start with that stuff. If it's not enough, you know, I'll do it on my own. But okay, so I'm going to put backgrounds on all these things that I already cut out or punched out. I do have a one inch punch. Isn't that nice? Okay, I'll be back when we're ready to do focal stuff. Hang on. Okay, all the background stuff is down. And yeah, be smart. Make a master board. They have to cut around these. I mean, you know, it's not a super big deal, but it would be so much easier to just punch. <laughs> okay, what about postage stamps? How does that grab anybody? And I know a lot of these are too big, but I thought, well, so cut them down there's no law that says you can do that can't do that i guess there's no law that says you can do it either okay um well one thing I can't see the edges too well on that color of my counter there. Okay. That's okay. Well, <laughs> how lame are we going to be, Diane? What about, though, there's a five right on this? What if I stamp a five on it? I do like the way these backgrounds turned out. I tried to not match, but um, vary a little bit so I didn't just have solid text on one of them. So I gave a little bit of thought to it. But generally speaking, I just slap stuff on there. So that worked out pretty well. Okay, I like that. I would ink those edges. Do we want postal lines on it? Now this box. There. I did grab that. I thought of that. Do I get any brownie points for that? There's a smaller one. Okay. It's in here somewhere. Alright, I'll use this. I don't know. It's in there somewhere. that <laughs> okay that's better I'm actually not in love with that maybe I can kind of connect those lines together okay we'll try that later okay I did not gesso anything um it did cross my mind but I figured I just crossed that bridge when I come to it. It's highly possible stuff I want gessoed would be covered up anyway, so we'll see. It's kind of 
kind of cute. A couple snowflakes. I did think of making all uh, Christmas ones. I really did. <laughs> but I've been doing so much Christmas stuff lately. I, To be honest, I'm giving you more of a break than myself. I might have done it. I have a feeling too, you know, videos that are seasonal, if you will, and not that I really care, but I would think off season they don't get a lot of views, right? I mean, I don't watch Christmas videos in May or something, so. All right, that's a question for you YouTube craft and art people. Do you ever find making videos affects what you're creating? I think that's kind of an interesting question. And do you think that's a negative or positive impact if it does? Okay. Well, and I'm not even sure if I have enough stamps here. I thought I counted correctly, but I'm not sure. Well, this bird is kind of interesting. Is it a chicken? All right, well, I think I'm going to cut off the bottom. Neat. I don't know if I like the dark on there. Let's see if this is better. No. Is a little green better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well, this is um, going to end up being very easy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, usually I put on, you know, washi tape or... A little twine or string around like which I could do something but these are not going to be as fussy I think all right what about a postmark on that this box is gonna fall if I had room in my drawer I think I would separate this into postmarks and other stuff but I don't have room for another box in the drawer they go into Okay, here's one. Okay, have you given any thought to this? i definitely going to cover it up. And I guess I'll wait until they're glued down. But should I paint over it? Put a picture over it? Collage over it? I suppose all of the above might apply. I might use a little bit of washi on the bottom. Uh, I don't have a lot of dark, narrow stuff. Nope. This is the one I was thinking of. Here's the story of Diane's life. There's one little section that's messed up, and that's what I want to look at. Okay. And I just put that back in the wrong place. Okay, kind of little. <laughs> How long is this taking? 
No. Yeah, nine something minutes. Let's try this one. And as you can tell, at the rate I'm working, I'm not going to do all these on camera. You know, it seems like I always make stuff in in mass, so to speak, in quantities. And I've always done that, even as a child. <laughs> I, I always have. And I was just thinking about that the other day. And it's like, well, you know, make a conscious effort not to do that. Okay. So I have to fill up all these holes. <laughs> she can't win. And I'm thrilled to announce, I think I'm done Christmas shopping. And this is still November. I'm excited. The last few years I've been kind of bad. Of course, I haven't wrapped anything or anything like that, but that's beside the point. And actually, I probably should get on that. I have to mail a couple off every year. and I'm never late, but you know, before you know it, it's the first week of December, and you, Diane's thinking, ooh, I should really send those packages. Isn't that interesting? That needs something. What? <laughs> Another little flower? I, my flower box is buried alive. I'm going to set that one off. Okay. Well, what else do we have to offer here? It's kind of pretty. It's uh, Japanese. Should go the other way. That looks like that's crooked. I don't know how it could be crooked. I used a trimmer. It is. I think it still is. I don't like it on there anyway. Not to you. Well, that could use a washi on the side. Um, these are green, but would that look kind of cute? Or too cute? Yeah, that's too cute. Okay. Well, there's not a lot of true blue in this set either. There's a lot of turquoise. Oh, there's one darker one. Yeah, I don't like that either. I could get ribbon. I could draw a border with a marker too, right? That's okay. It actually matches the leaves. Okay. Did I glue that down? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, are we on the air? I don't know.
Okay. Mm, I don't know if that's done or not. Should I do one more? Let's do a, another wrenchy. I'll let you in a little secret. I've never made these before. I've done a lot of inchies, but never the wrenchies. I would think those would be pretty cool to add to um, a collage or something because of the shape. Oh, well, that's actually really nice. It does need something on the bottom. Well, there's a pink line or stripe, whatever you want to call it. That's okay. I don't think it's great. Is it like a tan something? Not really. I don't suppose black would look right now. No, you were right. It doesn't look right. What about this one? That might be okay. Oh, that pink just didn't show up a lot for me. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, group. You get the idea. This video is going to start to get long. I'm going to finish these all off. Probably glue them in. Um, if I can, if I can film... I'll come back with you guys and we'll discuss this area. Okay, I will return. Diane, that's kind of bizarre. I hope you didn't glue that down. No, I didn't, but I think I'm going to. <laughs> First, I'll let you see the inchies and rinchies completed. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-glue a couple of those corners. They, um... Because of the thickness, I had to sort of hold them, but I added words to quite a few, and that kind of finished them off, I think. I think those are pretty cool, actually, <laughs> just in themselves. Okay, I want this covered up in some way. I thought of painting it. I thought of doing, like, tissue or napkins and kind of letting it show through, but then I thought maybe that would be too distracting. So I, since I really didn't know what I wanted, I'd look through a magazine without you guys. And I found these two backgammon boards that for some reason, I'm assuming it's color. I just thought those were kind of cool. And then I needed some kind of filler and that came up. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe you even hate it. <laughs> if you do, I'm sorry. But I don't know. I For some reason, I just think it's kind of neat. And considering this is a junk journal, I mean, I don't have to make it look terrible, but I think I'm just going to put them in. You know, someday, years from now, I could cover over it or paint over it or something if I change my mind. If you really don't like it, I am, I'm sorry. And I'll grant you, it's a little bold for most of what I have going on in the inchies is sort of vintage looking. But it's, I think also the geometric quality of this stuff to me is a good counterpoint to the other stuff because it's not. Does that make sense? Will you accept that? It's my journal. Will you accept that? <laughs> 
I did think of looking for other uh, sticker, you know, border things and uh, just putting paper over this and then doing more inches in that. But, you know, that's what I had before. That's what I had down before. I just sort of felt like I wanted to let that stand as it was. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, now I admit, I think it needs something on the top and bottom, which is why I have the washi tape out. Well, this is probably too busy. Uh, yeah, that might be okay, but no, nah, it's too busy too. Well, what about this really narrow stuff that's kind of exploding out of the box here? Oh, that's okay. And actually, there's gold foil stars over here. All right, here's something I hardly ever say. Do we want it askew? Okay, this stuff isn't very sticky, so I can do this. <laughs> and then maybe like a second one. Or is that getting to be too busy? No, this is not sticky. It's moving around. Uh, yeah, good question. Since I hardly ever asked that, I guess I don't know how to answer it. What would you do on the top? Same thing? Well, come here. Well, that's definitely fine. All right, what if I put them on straight and then maybe add a short piece at an angle? Let's try that. Now this stuff's kind of old and to be honest, it was never super sticky even when it wasn't old. Yeah, I've noticed scrapbook companies that used to carry washi tape, they kind of don't anymore. I don't know if that it wasn't selling or I, yeah, it wasn't cost, you know, effective for them or something. This was one of those. Should have it going the other way. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sold. Um, that's okay. All right, let's do that. And then I don't know about the bottom yet. I have a visual. There it is. Okay. Well, I suppose that makes sense, right? All right, we'll do that. We've already confused enough people with the backgammon boards.
Okay, I need to trim those ends a little bit, but uh, that's it. Take it or leave it. And I think most people are probably leaving right now. I think that's kind of neat. Like I said, I like the, you know, what's the word, juxtaposition of the geometric and then the more natural, organic stuff. And if nothing else, I like my inchies and wrenchies, so. Okay, we finally filled up these pages. Thanks to the few people that gave me suggestions. That was, you know, food for thought. I appreciate it. Have a nice day, everyone.